how is Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly! He's still bleeding! I need help! I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? It's gotta be hell! Should I pull it out? No, don't touch the no, knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Let's hope Casey, so. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah, it's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. All right, we need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer, some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? I guess I've got my jacket. Use the laundry. <laughs> Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that over the wound. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to buy you some new whites, Jason. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jason. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? Sure. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. So we want Peggy. What's so important that you had to interrupt What's me up, saving Peggy? someone's we life? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Any suggestions? Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I... Never mind. So... How does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah, why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know every- Looks like I need a four digit code. Where's his seat? Oh. My birthday, November 7th. Nice. Oh, wow. Ah. Hint, very important date. All right, well, what else is very important? Uh, should we just grab anyone? And something, or don't. Wow, really? And the John. Yeah, it's perfect. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw oh, up God. everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? He's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate Jason's legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. Jason, stay with me. I'm just going to move you. This might hurt. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as 
as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. I still have some laundry next to me. Good, good, good. I'll wrap them in some blankets. Just give me a second. Mm. Uh, uh. Sorry, sorry. Jason's place there was bandages. Sh should I get him new ones? Or oh god. No. Apply additional. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep him warm, so... I'll use my jacket. I can always get a new one. True, true. I'll fix his bandage and get him warm. Hold on, please. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. You're gonna be okay, Jason. Just relax now, okay? I don't even know what I do in a situation like this. You gotta be strong for Jason. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. Sit with him and reassure him that everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Okay. Please, I, I can't give him what he needs. Please, sit down. I can't live with him. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. Who was it? It was we John. John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. What the hell is this calling you? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. No, somebody's been stabbed. The man stabbed. has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or, never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over 10 years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies, and I'll head right over. What a hero. Guys on my watch. Thank you, John. We'll let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak, and then just started thrashing. What about now? Is he still thrashing? Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. You're gonna be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Hello, this is John Hedges. I'm here about Jason. Please let me in. Hell yeah. Oh. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. Got this from here. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's gonna be all right. <sighs> and with that, 